All right. Hello and welcome to round one again of the Looking for Gold Scrims Winter 2023 tournament. And I am here joined with Royal Ranger as he joins me in the Coke Ashes chair. How are you today? I'm doing pretty good. How are you, Oz? I'm doing honestly fantastic because this is this is honestly a match that I've been wanting to see for a while. I've been wanting to see Topaz Titans on the floor again um, just because as we all know, as we all know, Topaz Titans is the reigning champion from last season. They won season three of the LFGS Summer 2022 tournament. And so super excited to see them here defending their crown. Um, a little bit of news for you, though, just so just so everyone understands, okay? Um, Topaz Titans, a few of their members today are a little bit under the weather, but they have still come anyway to defend their crowns because they are no cowards. All right, they're not going to let sickness stand in the way of defending their crown. It's going to be amazing. I'm excited. Butters. So hell yeah, right? That's that's so awesome. Um, now today, the first map choice is going to be picked by Plant Gang. Um, they, if we were not going to host it, they would have been um, randomly selected as host and uh, map picker. Um, it I believe like they've they, picked Li Jang. They have picked Li Jang. Awesome. Just taking a quick look at the map pool so you guys can see it. Um, it is going to be control round one, then hybrid, then escort, and then push, as you can see on the screen now. We're going to head back over to here. And I am wondering, are the teams ready? I'm not sure. There's a lot of chat in the uh, team chat, so I'm, or voice chat. I'm assuming they're good to go. I sure hope they're good to go, because I'm <laughs> ready to go. And you're ready to yeah. go. So we're am both, I. I'm we're, both so, we're both so ready to go. <laughs> I'm amped, man. Dude, I am also Looks amped. like both teams are ready to go. We're going to throw them into the lobby. All right. Let's hope I don't get the applying update glitch. And it looks like I'm not going to. Awesome. Can you talk real quick? Make sure the, the mic is working in this little... Uh... I think I'm doing good. You still hear me? Awesome. Yeah, I can still hear you. I can still... Fantastic. Meter's running perfect. So everyone can see me. Awesome. Cool. So we are on Li Zhang Tower and we have Topaz Titans on the left and we have Plant Gang on the right. Now, this is, at least for me, a uh, this is going to be a debut match uh, for the Plant Gang on this tournament. I've never I've never seen them, actually. So never heard of them before. Right. Excited to see what they bring to the table. What do you notice about both teams here, Ranger? Do you see both teams playing one pretty? I'm looking a lot one? of, a lot of Arissa. A lot of Arissa. Really, is the sim right? The sim is interesting. Now the question is, are they going to teleport out of point and then uh, swap heroes, or are they going to stay on the sim? What do you think? Uh, well, I think that. I believe the Titans are going to do the TP out of Sim or out of Spawn. Wait, they didn't. Uh, so, no, they just they swapped. Okay. swapped okay, he did, they're not even doing the TP out of Spawn, but look at Slowbro. They're TPing onto Point, though. Okay. Slowbro, though, for the Plant Gang, did actually TP through the window. And it looks like Topaz Titans elects not to make the TP, so they're going to get here just a little bit slower. And what does that mean with the turrets? Well, it just means that they're going to have to go through a car wash. Oh, yeah. They're bunkering down hard here. Well, here's they're making their plan. They're gathering their cooldowns. Topaz does make their push into point here. I'm honestly a little surprised about the swap from Orisa onto uh, Diva. Yeah, that's an interesting choice, isn't here. it? Now, in uh, in today's meta, I think that uh, Diva plays more of a poke comp than it does like a dive comp. And looking at what I'm seeing here, I'm I'm not sure how to really evaluate this team comp they are playing, but I'll tell you one thing for sure, and that is that they are at 16%, and Topaz has yet to push onto the point. So, Sorry, a little unconventional, but hey, if it works for you, it works. You know what? If it works, it works. And so what I'm seeing here is, so far, successful strategy, and I think that at some point, you know, Topaz Titan needs to just regroup and approach from some other angle, or just have to figure out some other approach that they can make here. As so now they're, they're on up the right on mark. Katsune Rush. I think they might want to try and engage with that. Indeed. That I like think, their best uh, bet. Yeah, for sure. Katsune Rush, definitely the play here. Now, ideally, they'd like that Reaper ult to be in tandem with that, but we'll take what you can get. Sure. It's like they don't even need it, though. The nice Robo Rocks with a nice three. 
three for Robo Two Rocks. You might remember Robo Two Rocks actually from uh, from last season. Kind of a a really uh, big showstopper player came out and just like honestly killed everyone. You know, almost seemed like the <laughs> the proper of our LFGS league. Just kind of like really good at DPS and kind of popping off a lot. So. To see, well, he's um, living up to that reputation. Yeah, that's kind of what I was thinking, right? So he's like, he does seem like um, he's he's come here to bring the heat. I think he he is under the weather today, but that's not stopping him. He's in it to he win. He's committed. He is absolutely committed. All right, so over the bridge here. Here we see the turn. Almost eighty percent. That's gonna be a little rough if they don't manage to win this first couple of fights here. Absolutely. There's the shatter. Big shatter from Topaz. Wait, Lopple Man. Okay, so Lopple Man does not go off the edge there. Good for him. Very cool. <laughs> Slow Bro, though, on point. Sets up the turrets. Not quite able to find the value that they were looking for. I think it just seemed a little bit scrappy, a little bit uncoordinated. Um, so I think that uh, with, you know, with 78% on the clock, all planking really has to do, honestly, is just like win one more fight and then kind of make a little bit of a defense. I think they've got this. Bunk it down. That's true. What do you think that plant gang could do to like win this fight here? Well, here, I mean, Diva Bomb has potential if you can get a couple people, but mostly just take out either their. Uh, oh, yeah. As, as I said, has potential. There's the right. Why not execute? We get the mech Bigger back here. Part of Umbron. Around the corner. A lot of momentum. This big wall here uh, from Slowbro. Able to cut the point in half here and making it actually really difficult for Topaz Titans to make any headway. Here comes the, uh, okay, well, there you go. Depresso uh, comes so, out with the Reaper ult. Yeah. That's going to clean everything up. Wait, did Mercy kill Reinhardt? Hold up. Mercy did indeed oh, Mercy. kill Lawful Man. Shiny Umbreon. Get a clap in the chat for Shiny. <laughs> <laughs> a little bit of a battle Mercy there. We like it. We love to see it. We love it. those. We love to see it. Oh, another attempt to the TP on the point. We have one more fight here. Where was the shatter? Oh, that's unfortunate on the shatter. Oh, okay. Well, the shatter actually did come down. I just didn't see it. We get a pin onto subspace. Lapo Man kills three here, and that's actually really they big coming from Lapo Man. That is. Again, I think the TP on the point was a great attempt. They may have. Oh, they're doing it again. <laughs> they do. Whoa. <laughs> so they, they actually, with their she they actually canceled lose. charge before they got the kill. See how long you can live on point here. <laughs> what is going on right now? Oh, Lucio is just <laughs> holding point, no wonder. Just... Indeed. Shiny Umbreon kind of, uh, I did some fancy James stuff today. Bong coming on. Look how long this fight's lasting. And now lasting. half their team is there. Wait a minute, we have a Again, junk right on point, TP we have turrets right? on point, hold up. We have four people from planking on point here. This is not over, even though I thought it was. It's almost gonna flip. Wait a minute. Close. I Wait, think planking plant has it almost flipped. Fight. Wait a minute. No way. Hold on. Wait. Yep, as soon as they clear out the Reaper. No that's a way. Slowbro <laughs> comes in clutch with the turret to kill. That is unbelievable as Robo Two Rocks panic swaps to the Farah, even though we don't even have a Mercy on this team. What is Robo going to do with this Farah right now? They do have to win this next fight. I think he's going to pray. Well, he's got to do something. He can certainly touch. Look at that oh, shatter. Oh, big shatter coming from Open Man. The beat comes out, but is it early enough as there's already two down from Plant Gang? The shield has potential to help, the Sim Shield. Although, that is quite looks the like it won't be enough. What a turnaround there at the end, though. Wait a minute. Oh, an amazing. Oh, my There's lord. There's no way this keeps going. There is no <laughs> way Plant Gang holds on. There's the spin to win. Perfect placement to be able to go in and out all the way around. He gets to touch again. Here we we go got more fading back to point. There's a minefield on point. Are they going to be able to hold this here? But here's the barrage coming from Robo 2 Rocks. Robo goes down to the turret as Slowbro gets a kill. And we get. Oh, oh my nothing. god. Coalescence comes out. This could be it. There is no way. This is the closest Li Zhang control. Or Li Zhang. What is this? Li Zhang Tower? This is the closest. On this one, I have literally ever seen. <laughs> There's absolutely no way. There's no way we have now Lucio. We and have now we Marley, have Marley back on the point. Dies the turrets. 
I cannot believe what I just saw. <laughs> I, you know what? I applaud Plant Gang on that comeback. Wow. I, th I thought they lost in the first, uh, the first fight that they lost, or rather when it was close to 99. I thought they lost it, and then they touched. They kept touching with their TPs, the rotation between the ball and the sim, and then uh, I believe Shiny Umbreon holding it with Lucio. That was fantastic. From both teams, though. I mean, like, if if you, like, you got to 99, um, like, was it 99? I think that, uh, yeah, I think we got to 99 from the Topaz Titan side. And then Five, they, they, four, they flip it back over three, for Plant Gang, one, and it just keeps going back and forth. Two, and it's just like, how are you staying contested? I mean, their contest game from Plant Game was just literally out of this world. Never seen anything like that. I agree. Absolutely. And Topaz Titans really living up to their... You know, they are the champions, right? And they're showing that in their gameplay. Absolutely. Now we're, we're seeing Ramatra come out, and also both teams, by the way, are playing the Junkrat here. Has been, more recently, a very popular decision, um, not even just on Lee Jane Control Center, but um, just in general. However, especially on Lee Jane Control Center, we are seeing a lot more Junkrat. And so that's yeah, not he just gets so much right. value here. Absolutely, with all the closed space. Oh, yeah. Looks like the Titans are going to cap first point. Titans are going to get the first cap. That's definitely what you what you want to see when like the fight hasn't even really ended yet. It seems like at this point no one ever dies. It's like both teams are just a bunch of zombies and there you go. Slowbro takes the first death and now it's going to domino effect where Topaz Titans is probably going to win this first fight. Not before James yeah. Bond kills Robo 2 rocks though. <laughs> got to get a little bit of that statement and you got to kill your uh, your mirror. Yeah, definitely got to kill your mirror. That is actually super important. Wow. So looking at the ults here, I think in this we're going to see Depresso's uh, sim wall come out this next fight pretty much immediately. It's got to be soon. And we get five ults from Topaz Titans, almost five ults from Planking. This is going to be a fight with a lot of fireworks in it. As well, that tire is broken by the Mercy. Or no, by a spear, by Nihilus. Yeah, spear, that was crazy. Wait a minute, tire. We just, like, Lopple Man just holds up his fists and blocks the tire. Like an absolute Giga Chad. Oh my. He just tanks it. That's why they call him tank. That's why they call it a tank. That's amazing. And lots looks. Of wow. Lots of ults used, and Plant Gang will end up flipping it at 61%. He did. Now, I want to say, though, Plant Gang did use four ults, and Topaz only used two. So. That Good is... on them holding their ults there. They still have 61%. In terms of ult economy, Topaz is looking enough. They're in a much better position. Absolutely. Here comes the wall. There comes the sim wall. Splitting point in half here. And now we're going to see the uh, low bro coming out with this artillery. Ult. Is he going to find anything? Actually, Unfortunately, I found no one, that. but James Bong found their. I believe Robo did not. That's a big pick in the beginning. That is actually a really big pick in the beginning here. So even though the artillery wasn't able to find too much, um, it was able to just buy them the time they need to like play the fight out long enough that you know, Topaz Titan just kind of ran out of resources there. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I know the uh, the trepidation I feel whenever I hear an artillery coming in. I just like, oh, please, God, don't hit me. It's kind of like Junkrat uh, Tire, right? It's like, it's like, oh god, Absolutely. Like, I know I've been mean to you all game, but let's talk about this, you know what I mean? <laughs> Be reasonable. <laughs> Be reasonable, please, I have a family. Little ape the time. And an early pick from James Bond on Super Silver. That's what you want to see, if you're uh, the Plant Gang here. Plant Gang doing actually a really good job at holding this, and they're up to 70% now, just surpassed the 69% barrier, nice. And now, Topaz Titans actually is down in the percentage. They do have to win probably this next fight. I don't know if they get two more fights here. Uh, that's I'd say if they have a quick first fight, then they get two. But at this point, it's looking like one. I don't know. This Their comp isn't playing like ball or anything, so they'd have to swap to, to extra touch picks. Here we now have five ults to oh, like one. Oh, level man early. Yeah. That's going to be painful. You need to not die early there. Here comes the tire. This is an incredible ult advantage from Plant Game. They played their ult super well here. I think it's going to pay off um, for them, and they are, are going to be able to just take Li Jing 2 to 0, but not after one of the most amazing Li Jing gardens I've seen in, like, I don't know, ever. <laughs> wow. So.
That was crazy. Um, it, it does fantastic look Fantastic like, from both teams. Yeah, fantastic. Absolutely. Um, at this point, uh, Sick Titans, they do get to um, pick the next map. And we can take a look at the map pool here. The choices for their next map um, is going to be uh, either Kings Row, Midtown, or Paricio. What do you think they're going to pick? Well, in my humble opinion, <laughs> Kings Row is the best choice out of all three okay. of us. Okay. And as oh, I okay. say that, local man picks out, I mean, Kings Row. Kings Row, please and thank you, says Lawful man. <laughs> the man who definitely did not die to Mercy last round. Definitely not. Uh, absolutely not. De did not lose a 1v1 as Reinhardt against Mercy. Did not happen. It, did, <laughs> it wasn't caught in footage. It, it was definitely of course. Not. If it was, we're going to delete it anyways. Uh, yeah. Yeah, definitely. <laughs> wow. All right. Well, I want to see if they go with the, uh, the Rhine mirror. I feel like I've seen a lot of Arissa played on King's Row, but I'm a fan of watching Ryan's just duke it out. Ryan's duking it out on King's Row for sure. Um, I wonder if we are actually going to see a Ryan duel on King's Row um, because Ryan is fun to play right now, but not super meta. And if these teams really are trying to look to take that W, then you almost wonder if they agree with the meta and if they're going to be playing something like Orisa, Hawk, Ramatra, or Monkey. Right. Yeah, not so much about having fun as it is winning. To some of these teams, perhaps not. But we shall see. In 17 seconds, uh, this is going to open up and we're going to see if either of these teams are enlightened enough and not coward enough to play Dive Brig. <laughs> dive Brig. Yeah, Dive Brig. <sighs> I... You know, I think if you work, if you pair a dive break up with that dive rat, it would yeah. work like a charm. I think if you just put Symmetra and Brig together, you can teleport the rallying break into the enemy back line. And I cannot think of a single counter strategy in all of Overwatch. It's just so powerful. I know. Well, I, I can think of one. Oh. Oz. Yeah. If your opponent, Nano Valks. That's, oh. I mean, you're, you're just a goner. You're a goner. Honestly, I didn't think about that. Nano Valk, um, giving him the hurricane, that, that is definitely probably counter rally strategy. I mean, that, that is pretty good material, honestly. Indeed. Indeed. <laughs> well, looks like we're going to see, well, we're going to see the Titans on uh, Reinhardt, but Plant Gang is going to go with Arissa, the more meta pick, as you pointed out. It is a little bit more meta, but I have seen Reinhardt's hold up to a recent. If there's one man that can do it, it is the Loppel man. As he just stands next to the statue, says, I don't care, shoot me as you wish, for I am a large <laughs> robot man with a big robot suit. Well, he's not a robot, actually. With an even larger hammer. As Robo does find Slowbro here, so we are a little bit ahead if we are on the Topaz on, on a Topaz side here. We are going to get the, uh, we're going to see a resurrection. So it is now 5v5 again. The turret does now come down, but Robo gets a oh, kill again. Slowbro gets killed kill. again. Wow. These early picks are brutal. Absolutely brutal. Lots of damage out coming out from uh, both teams here, and it seems like, like both teams are really respecting one another. Like Both teams are really careful about the plays they make, the pushes they make. Well, after the first map they've seen, okay. These are opponents that they need to reckon with on True. either side. And you know what's interesting that I'm noticing too? Both teams kind of playing like brawly tanks, but neither team opting for the Lucio, both teams opting for the Mercy, which means that both teams are really looking for a longer fight. Right. This ends now. One of those resources is res that you get from the Mercy, and maybe they're taking that into account. That, hey, if we can, even though we might be giving up the Lucio speed, we have one free death that we can rev. Absolutely. The uh, overclock coming from Robo is not, not able to find anything there, um, but did make a lot of space, and now uh, Planking able to just try to walk back on point, but against Depresso's angle. Look at Depresso's angle here up on top. He's got a great angle in the enemy team. Can they make any progress against the soldier? More or less uncontested. 
Yeah, Which I'm is... seeing mostly planking on main, huh? Yeah. Oh, slow, bro. Again, there goes the revive. Yeah, it's, it still is back to 5v5 again. This is still, I mean, a presso on this high ground is a problem for plant gang, and so far what they've it done is they've just thrown junk wrap pipes at them. Oh, this could be big. That's true. Oh, Look that's the Suzu. Suzu. A beautiful timing. Suzu. Okay. And that advisor has large potential. Now we're starting to invest some ults in here, and at this point, it is 4v4. Uh, we still do have Depresso on this flank, and it looks like they are going to give a couple of ticks. They still have to do something about Depresso. I mean, he's up here with a mercy pocket. Now Lopalman gets to recontest again. Coming in from oh, he's getting bullied. <laughs> the tire going and right after the high ground. <laughs> Marlsy. Oh, it's Marlsy. I'm sorry, Marlsy. And they will cap point. Unfortunate. Actually, unfortunate for Topaz Titans, but fortunate for the plant gang. I mean, they're doing a great job here. Finally, able to get that cap, starting to push the point here. Still have a healthy time bank. I mean, we're at 3 minutes, 13 seconds on the clock. Yeah, it's really not... Um, they're not feeling pressed for time at the moment. James Bong is looking for some sort of flank. Although, Loppel Man, that's going to be a jump scare and a half. He tried to go for it. <laughs> Credit to him. Oh, Robo oh Rock's going to be found. Did you see that kill he just got? Awesome stuff coming from uh, from James Bong. <laughs> what James a name. Bong. Love that name. I do love that. <laughs> what name. a name. Especially for a Junkrat. What a good Junkrat name, honestly. <laughs> <laughs> it is fitting. Absolutely. Look at the look at the pick over to um, to Diva as well. Super interesting from... Uh, I don't even know how to pronounce it. Nilu? Uh, Nihilus, I believe. Ni oh, I think Nihilus. it's Nihilus. Nihilus. Yeah. Nihilus, yeah. Interesting pick from Nihilus. Yeah, I feel like it, it may have been in order to somewhat counter um, the soldier, uh, Depresso, on those high or on that high ground. If he kept taking points like that, it's brutal. And it looks like the Kasuna rush is really, really going to clean up with uh, Robo Rocks on his overcharge. Yeah, I think that was a definitely a really good uh, Kitsune rush. Exactly what you're looking for if you're the Topaz Titans there. You just want to put the Kitsune rush all over the battlefield exactly where it matters and then just take all the space that's good. All right, so we are Looks seeing a like group here. They're coming up on uh, plant games kind of on five ults. Five ults. I'll we're be interested to see what they lot, use. Isn't it? Like, teams are just getting five ults pretty often here. Like, say, more often than I'm normally used to seeing. Yeah, I, and... You know, one thing, I mean... I find it difficult to, uh... Ult... Oh! Oh, the they bomb find finds Marlzy. Marlzy. But De uh, Depresso also finds James Bong. So it is 4v4 here on point. Look at look at uh, Robo 2 rocks on this crazy angle. Although he's super low HP, he's gonna have to go for the Mega here. Oh, Shiny Umbron's gonna... Oh, Depresso breaking that tire from James Bond. That actually very helpful for them. Interesting. So I'm wondering how they're going to approach next fight if they're going to stay on this D.Va. Um, because there there does seem to be like multiple angles of range pressure coming at the plant gang. And D.Va really can only defense Matrix in one direction in, in a sort of way, right? So. I'm wondering right. if D.Va really is the pick in this situation. And it looks like they are going to swap. They're going to swap to Arisa. They're going to swap to Arisa here. And what's weird is planking. Okay, now now they're kind of holding back a bit. It almost looked like they were going to go in without the tank, but they're not They're not going to do that. They're going to be smart about this. Smart choice on them. That That is a correct choice. Definitely correct choice. Always take 5v5 if you can. Don't take 4v5 if you don't have to. And here's a tire. Absolutely. It's going to be oh, that catching tire by surprise. Depresso. Oh, my. I think that's it for the Titans here. Wow. I mean, that's great timing. Zero seconds left on the clock. They can't even touch anymore. I wonder if they even knew that the tire was coming. Wow. It caught me off guard. Just as quick as it starts, it can end. That was... That was, that just ended. I was surprised. I thought we were going to see one more fight. Yeah, I didn't know. I mean, I thought we were going to see the third point. guess that's not happening. <laughs> Damn. Which is a shame. I like watching... Uh, Boops happen over there. I know, right? Some nice boops can happen over there. I mean, that's the only reason I play Kiriko. 
So you can get boops, right? So you can boop people boops, with exactly. your uh, Kitsune Rush. Yeah. Yeah, right. You know, just like uh, not like not like it actually like knocks anyone back, but it's like so surprising that people are like, <gasps> whoa, and then they just like take a step back, and then they die because they fall in the pit. They fall down the pit. Yeah, they fall in the pit. They, they're they're afraid. <laughs> I mean, just to show that I'm better, I just jump down after him. You know, make a statement. Indeed, indeed. <laughs> Reminder, anyone in chat, if you are hungry, there is a special recipe for a peanut butter and jelly in the Twitch description. Just go and check that out. It's nothing special. What do you about put in it? your PB and J? Just, just what? What do you put in your PB and J? Uh, peanut butter and jelly. Oh. Yeah, that's my secret recipe. I use bread, peanut butter, and jelly. Yeah. Sounds good. I might have to try it. Yeah. Four, Absolutely. Three, two, one. Starting with the Sim here from Plant Gang. The Sim start on defense is very interesting here. Uh, Topaz getting uh, exactly the pick we need, although the, the res is going to turn us back into a 5v5, so not quite the value you thought that was going to be. Still good. Right, it does get that res out of the equation for the next 30 seconds or so. James Bong. Finding the pick on Levelman. That's going to definitely pull the Topaz Titans back a little bit as they think about how they're going to approach this. Now, they know they're playing uh, they're playing against a Symmetric here. They're going to have to go in and find the turrets, kill the turrets, because those turrets are going to be annoying. Looks like they're going to just take care of two That's turrets immediately, right in the beginning, just as Depresso dies. Although, here's the benefit of playing that Mercy, right? We're back to a 5v5 right now. It's time to continue the fight. Espresso with a pick on a slow bro. That could be impactful if they can't get that res. I don't think he has the res on cooldown. There it is. There comes the oh, res. There it is. It comes out. We're back to another 5v5. Although if you look now, <laughs> Robo 2 Rocks on the high ground. He might start shifting around to get that off angle he needs. That off angle, all that's all Topaz Titans needs really to get the space they need. Here we go. You see and Robo 2 Rocks really taking the high ground. He sees what he wants to see. Putting huge damage into the enemy team here. Did they even see him? He's not even getting shot back at right now. Here comes the overclock. He's going to push point with the overclock. They find a kill on James Bong, and no Robo gets the kill he's looking for. Oh, and they get the seeing. res on subspace. They're back up to uh, four. And this, okay, Here this, uh, this Kitsune Rush is really good. This is where you want to put it. Can they just take the space and do. Oh my god, wait a minute. Hold on, uh, Nihilus with Coalescence as well. Lots of ults coming from both sides here. Is Marzo going to get this res? And she is onto Super Silver. Both supports back alive, and that's too many losses for too... Plant Gang to continue. Yeah, it looks like they're going to back out on this. All right, and then after the cap here, they're going to get two and a half minutes. And so that's going to put their clock at a little over four minutes. Although, if you think about it, that's only about, uh, what, 30 seconds more than the Plant Gang had. Wait so... a minute. I should, I should not oh, speak so touch? soon. I am speaking about Plant Gang, the, the, the team that recontests point like no other team has ever done so in the entire universe. Right. You think we would have learned our lesson? You think we would have learned our lesson, but no. Well, okay, maybe we have, because this, I don't know. <laughs> this does look well. <laughs> like another fight win for Topaz Titans. But still, they took another 40 seconds off the clock. That is true. Now, three and a half minutes, whoops, sounds like a long time. But that's only like one hot pocket in the microwave. It's not long. That's right. Just enough time to burn your mouth and some cheese. Absolutely. It's like, that's like three and a half minutes. It's just enough time to burn a dozen dino nuggies. And that's not as that's not much time as you might think it is. So, yeah, it's some time. But, you know, Plant Gang's going to come back at him. And you still have to make sure you utilize it. Oh, no. If you're slow, bro, that's not what you want to see. Oh, yes. And they're defending the corpse. So there's no res happening here. This is going to be a 5v4 situation as Robo We're going to see another overcharge. Overclock. Overclock, yeah. Find a pick on subspace. And another on James Bong. And dare I speak early and say it looks like they may cap? No, they only have one on point. So they're moving fairly slow. Look at Depresso. He's going for this tire. This tire is going to be good. If they scout it out, then it's going to be fine. But it does look like it's scouted. Although this position is still really good. Like, how are you going to recontest this point? 
If Depresso can stay up here with Tyre, I don't think this is not going to look good to Tyre. Here. He's just going to do this to the Reaper. <laughs> Poor Slowbro. Yeah. And they will cap. Wow. So the Sick Titans have come today to defend their crown, and they didn't come today to slump over and die. All right? You can't just come in here and defeat the Topaz Titans. You're definitely not going to sweep them, sweep them away from the rock. I mean, this team is going to defend their title. They're doing oh, you're wonderful in for a fight. things. Wow. This what tire, an absolutely massive tire. Great timing on the tire, too. I have to imagine the rest of his team told him, like, like exactly when to pull that trigger. It was really well done. Yeah, and that's the other aspect of these games that we don't really get. We don't get to hear what how these teams are communicating, which is such a crucial part of uh, the competitive scene. Is you have to be constantly talking to your team. You have to be constantly providing them with frog facts and other things in order to encourage them to, like, to play at their best, right? <laughs> really important. Team morale is important. Team morale is very important. <laughs> <laughs> All looks right. like uh, Plant Gang will choose Dorado. Dang. What's your favorite frog fact? I gotta know now. Okay. Um, my favorite frog fact. Frogs have legs. You know that? I never thought about it. But I guess that's true. Also, frogs are really good at trigonometry. <laughs> you know, I don't doubt you on that. Don't you a little bit? Maybe. I but, implore I mean, you to slightly doubt that. <laughs> but they jump all over the place, so I can see your reasoning. That's true. How can they jump on anything without knowing the tangent of their jump? E Exactly. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> Viewers probably think I'm high right now. I'm not. I'm just weird. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> one in the same. One in the same. Oh, yeah, probably pretty true. Ready for battle. All right, we're going to see. Oh, a bit of a dive from uh, the um, plant gang and more of a poke from Topaz Titans. I'd say it looks like a fairly traditional team comp for Dorado. Yeah, I mean, I think that if you're defending, it's totally cool to play the spam. And if you're attacking, it does totally make sense to play dive. Any any tank hero that can really just take the high ground and start applying pressure immediately, not having to, like, walk slowly up the stairs, is, I think, a pretty clean choice. Yeah. So I will say Monkey's been feeling a little weaker recently maybe that's just me i think monkey is still pretty good especially if the prevalence of reset in the meta um yeah and like if the enemy team just goes hog maybe you don't play the monkey but um in situations where they don't play hog i don't feel like he's too bad and as you're saying it does look like um nihilus is well Ooh. was doing a good job at contesting the high grounds what he may not have uh realized is that um, Robo Two Rocks is pretty good on the, the Shimada characters. He does <laughs> he, he does go by Shimada Gap on the weekends, so that is his name. Oh, that's understandable. Indeed. Quite the enthusiast on the Hanzo, able to click those heads even with the arrow. <laughs> it certainly takes some skill to do that. You know, this Barbersy could be trouble for Topaz Titans, um, considering that unless Robo Two Rocks is good at hitting Fars, then really it's just a Presso on the Soldier that's going to be like the primary one pressuring the Fars. So I think this is a great pick from Plant Gang. Well, Robo will find a pick on Nihilus. Plant Gang is, or uh, I should say Slowbro, is really trying to like fly low when they can to try to keep out of sight, but just not quite able to keep out of sight of that um, of that soldier who's just tearing people up in the skies. So I guess uh, Topaz Titan's not having too much trouble with the flyers. Uh, especially yet. with the uh, Marl Z given soldier that needed uh, damage boost to take out those flyers. Definitely. Um, we are seeing Slowbro swapping up the fire onto the Cassidy, and that does make sense. 
Um, so we are going to concede yeah, that flyers might not be the way to go here. You know, actually, flanking takes some pretty good space here. This is really good from them. Um, they're going to have to fight that Hanzo Dragon ult, but then after that, it's kind of decayed. Flanking does have some pretty strong space here. Seen lots of volts. Soldier shut down my slow bro. Oh, but Robo with two picks. Or was that three? Oh my. Four? Wait. Hold on. Can he hold this? I don't know. Surely the, not. Who's, I mean, Surely who's better? Not. Like, uh, uh, Mercy Pocket oh, and Winston or Mercy Pocket? What Mercy. the? Wait a minute. What was cracked? Hold on. <laughs> like I said, okay? Robo is the proper of this league, all right? Robo is insane at the video game. I believe it. I mean, he's shown time and time again, just in these three matches. I see Genji using Deflect here right off the bat. Now we see also Nihilus kind of switching to his signature hero here, which is looking like uh, really a comfort pick on the D.Va. Yeah, which is really unfortunate because D.Va You know, she was actually struggle. really close to eating that Dragon ult, honestly. She was pretty close. Like she didn't, but she almost ate the Dragon. Okay, no, this is actually super winnable here for uh, for Plant Gang. It does look like they are cleaning this up, though. They really don't want to lose this mech. Losing this mech here would be not good. Yeah, it's so... Honestly, a lot of times, if you lose the mech, it's better to die and respawn. Yeah, uh, because oftentimes... Because it's so detrimental. For sure. Like, it's worth going back to the spawn room, switching to some other hero, and then back to D.Va just to get your mech back. Because going no mech... Especially if you have to go a whole fight with no mech, it's basically 4v5. Baby Diva does absolutely nothing for your team. And you have to have a tank in play to really stand a chance in this 5v5 meta where tanks are so buffed. So true. Lawful man with a hook on James Bong. Trying to see Robo 2 out objective here as he lands a clean headshot on Slowbro. Not when you not when you want to see if you are plant gank and he stops the res. Other Incredible play around. here from Robo. As plant gank has no other choice but to just give up space completely. Also doing what they can to dodge that hook. Lopple man on the road hog. Just, they just need to recollect themselves. They do have three ults. They're throwing a bomb in. I'm not going to find. Unfortunately, anything. we'll find no one. Uh, the dragon from Robo also not find anything. Oh, but this soldier ult from Depresso is going to find something. I just, it certainly has to. Or not. No, Gang actually did... whip and weaving, schmooving and dodging through that visor like I've never <laughs> seen before. I have trouble dodging this visors. Hog ult will clear off the point for at least the time being. And they regain that position of power. Ooh, Depressor was wow. too. No, no. Your Nihilus do not die here. Good fortify. Okay. Looking at the ult situation here, it, I do think ult advantage slightly in favor of Plant Gang just because they already have one on the board and they have a uh, blade coming up. I wonder if they're going to save it for Nano Blade though. With 59 seconds on the clock, they better get this Nano quickly if they're going to try the Nano Blade. Although James Bong is gone, you can't nano blade without a blade. That is true. Uh, Shiny still forty percent uh, left to build that nano boost. I have faith. Forty seconds. I have faith. These hooks, you guys gotta keep Ooh. watching for these hooks. That was close. I mean, like I, I'm so surprised I didn't actually land the kill there from Lopple Man. Although, look at the space that Plant King is starting to take here. Now we're 90% to Nano. Almost have the Nano Blade, and that could split this whole thing wide open. Although, oh, shiny oh Umbreon no. will fall. Robo, from the top rope, gets a 3k. That's not how this was supposed to go, if you're Plant King. This... Oh, someone's got to touch, Although though. we see two ults. Okay, no, we're going to touch, we're touch, we're touch. This how long will they be able hold. to hold those questions? No, we keep asking that every single round, but... Plant Gang is the is the recontest king as we have seen already. Look at the, oh, but look at the Roadhog. Ult. I don't know how you stay on point here. Wait a minute. Do we actually see a Nano Blade right now? Oh. Oh. 
We saw a dry blade, I believe. Yeah, we saw a dry blade come out, but it just it just couldn't do anything about the overwhelming amount of pressure coming from the high ground with the soldier visor. Wow. Right, and when you have a hog in front of you and a Kitsune rush on you, it's tough to see who you want to prioritize. And by the time you figure it out, that visor is really going to melt your health. Indeed. Visor doing really well for Depresso today. Getting some pretty fat visors. It really is. See, here's the thing, right? I wonder now, are they going to try to continue with the Nanoblade strategy? Because I don't know that it really worked last time. And so I'm wondering, and I'm going to try to, I'm really interested if Shiny is going to play Ana and if James, nope. So it looks like they're not going to go with that strategy this time. They have put that one on the back burner. And I, I think, honestly, that was the right choice. Yeah. Nanoblade has great potential, such great potential. But if it's not working for you right off the bat, it takes a lot of time and a lot of devotion to get those resources out. So feast or famine. Like, it either works or it doesn't. Oh, yes. So it looks like they are going to opt into, though, playing uh, Sim Junkrat. So no hit scan um, coming from um, from Plant Gang here. That's an interesting choice. Because look at Depresso right now. They might regret going no hit scan. Pharmacy. They might very much regret this. Oh, I think they will. Look at the range. Look at the effective range of uh, Plant Gang. And I'm just wondering, like, I don't know about that. Right? Because, like, Moira is well, short range. Especially on Dorado. Junk and Sim are short range. Sigma's actually kind of short range. And, like, Mercy does... She just damage boosts, so... Yeah, I think they're... They will really suffer on this first point. Or first part of first point. It's really this choke point that they have to get something done. I mean, this is like the only place they can really fight is, is if they clog up this choke point right here. And I think that Symmetra has to overextend to even really do that, as you just saw there. Um, right. Or at least someone has to overextend. But then again, the pharmacy from above is oppressive. As they find a pick on the subspace with no one pressuring them. Absolutely true, although look at Lawful Man getting lasered down by this car wash of sentries. And Lawful Man will fall to that. Robo falls to it too. Robo. So, yeah. Slowbro with three, Slowbro oh with my four. God. Okay. So, <laughs> Maybe as much we as I want. Oh my. Wow. Slowbro, I think, just got a 5k. I don't <laughs> know if you all in the audience saw it. Indeed, a 5k. That. Oh my. Okay. Well, um, I'll shut up. My bad. <laughs> <laughs> I forgot that Symmetra countered Pharmacy. I didn't feel like my bad. We got to freshen up on our, on our, our macro. counters. Yeah. yeah. Mm, fuck. Jeez. Okay, well, Shiny goes down early here. Over. Definitely not what you want to see if you're playing gang. We're going to refresh our turrets onto the wall again. Re recreating our car watch, but let me look at Lopple Man now in the Reinhardt. Flank? I don't think they saw this flank. Like, yeah, I don't think they did either because they have all their turrets on a different choke entirely. And that is going to pay Topaz Titans the dividends they need to progress through this choke point. Although someone's got to get on card eventually here. <laughs> all right. No, the, fun the funny thing about card is you can just leave it. I mean, for a little while. <laughs> Staying on the Symmetra. So Slowbro not swapping. Slowbro does have ult here. So we're going to see a wall. Um, okay, with James Bong down, I do think the wall could even be good enough to retake at this point. Just because of the kind of space we've got act acting on us here. It is actually really tough oh, for Topaz that... to play with the wall. Is so, assuming the wall is well placed, which I think it, right. it's interesting. That's oh, a really good that's shatter. a big shatter. And Although, I believe that wow. will clean up lot this of, tire, though. A lot of ult commitment, though, from Topaz here. I mean, that has been now three ults to take a fight, which kind of looked like they were just going to win anyway. Right, and that goes into the whole, you know, the uh, ult economy there. Now they're behind. A little bit behind. Um, Slowbro off of... Uh, I forgot what Slow... Uh, they were on Sim, and now they're on Bastion. And we're right, on and the James okay. Bong switching from the Junkrat. 
Yes, so now we actually have more range, and this is going to really help them um, against the Fara. Ow. Okay. Ooh. This is where Robo Rocks Robo comes in. Oh my. Wow. Just picking them off. That was a defining performance from the DPS of Topaz Titans, both really showing why they've earned their positions on that team. Indeed. I wonder if they'll be able to touch. It looks like they... Ooh. Oh, James Bond will not be able to touch, though their Mercy will. Shiny Embryon. Mercy's are so moving trying to get so something fast, done. so crazy. Both of these Mercies. Oh, this res. Wait a minute, that res on Slowbro is cracked. Hold on. <laughs> Absolutely massive. Slowbro going super low, tucking himself into bank there. Can he stay alive? He's not going to be able to. That's a lot of losses now suffering. There comes a Shadow doesn't shadow get anything. Can this hit a lot? Is that? Oh, that could have been huge. Oh, Ooh, if that actually got it. Oh, dang. A great Suzu from Super Silver there. True. Yeah, good Suzu. Wow. What we are seeing here is that we are now 2-1 uh, in favor of Topaz Titans. Um, Topaz doing a good job, even while they're a little bit under the weather today. Defending their grand championship title. And yeah, that just... Again, that shows what, honestly, what professionals they are. And they're sick, they're down, uh, how many people from their roster, but they're still putting up a fight. And they're still showing why they deserve to be the Topaz Titans and the champions, the reigning champions. The reigning champions. The reigning champions. Well, although, <laughs> I will say, having gone down a map, I have not seen that often. Topaz does not drop a map often. And what that proves is that the king can bleed. But the question is, can the king die? That's the real question. Very true. Yeah. And the plant, plant gang wants to see that king dead. No, I agree. No, I 100% agree. Like, I, I see a lot of motivation from plant gang. And um, I will I'll show you just for a moment because it's, it's, very, it's very cute. Look at their player icons. They're all flowers because they're, they're the plant gang. Oh, <laughs> oh. I hadn't noticed that yet. Yeah, look at that. They're I love all it. flowers. It's, it's that sort of team chemistry that really makes a team, honestly. You can be good. But if you work together as a team, well, you're just that much better. Yeah. Indeed. I, I know that, uh, I know Topaz Titans has great team synergy. They've been a team for quite a while now. Um, and they've, they've proven that with, you know, over time, they, they've won the season three championship and now they're back here and they're still showing us a great performance, even being under the weather. Indeed. And a great performance. It really is entertaining. That's what you want to see. Definitely. Good game so far. Well, they are ready up, and it looks like the next map is going to be Coliseo. Arriving at Coliseo. You know, unpopular opinion. Oh, I don't like Coliseo that much. I, I don't think that's unpopular. People like, just generally don't out of, like out of the Out of the push maps, I oh. don't think Coliseo is the best. Okay. Well, um, I... I think that if I were to rate the the push maps on a, on like just between one another, I'd say I, my favorite is Esperanza, my second favorite is Coliseo, my most unfavorite is New Queen. Personally, that's my order. I could agree with that. Yeah. Yeah. New Queen. It's finding quick play when I don't have to worry about the near certainty that I'm going to lose. I can <laughs> I can just relax and play on it, and the aesthetic I enjoy. It seems so easy for teams to, like, get behind you in that map, right? To cut behind you and get the flank. And it just seems, it seems so flanky. Because everything it is really just like is. a, it's just like a really snaky map. I don't like that. Yeah. That's my personal opinion. I believe Tracer does reign supreme Five, on New Queen Street. Four, Tracer? Three, two, yeah. One. I mean, I, I think Tracer's good in a lot of maps, so I, you're probably right about that. Seconds. That's true. 
All right, now both teams coming out the door here, and we are seeing no Lucio on either seed, uh, either side. That's actually really like surprising here. Really, you can kind of see how Mercy has just like become the meta between these two teams. At least both teams unwilling to not play the Mercy. Robo two rocks on the top gets a clean headshot, opens it wide well, open. Going but to trade silver also over. goes down. We're gonna see the rest. We'll get the res on super silver. Looking for the headshot, almost has it. Wait, Mora almost wins that 1v1 against Robo. There's kind of a fight going on both sides of this glass wall here as the teams decide that maybe just on main is the place to fight instead of splitting up a park here. As Robo goes down, planking, getting probably the most pivotal pick they could. That's true, and they do not have res. Very, very important that the res is not available right now to the Topaz Titans as they are strongly on the back foot. At this point, if you're Topaz Titans, I think that you probably wait till you get Robo back before you commit any more resources to this because you really don't want to lose another. And it's just, okay, there you go. Depresso Ooh. able to find a kill onto Extended okay. Mem. And Extended was looking to keep uh, Robo 2 Rocks in the spawn, but Depresso saw it and he came to his teammate's aid. Absolutely. Look how quickly Depresso building a uh, rip tire here too, though. I mean, 96%, um, almost there. Although Nihilus already has it as uh, their ult. We're gonna see uh, we're gonna see Falking Mercy coming from Marls, and Lapo Man's gonna come out with the terraforming Terra Surge. What's it called? Terra Surge? Uh, I believe Terra Surge. Yeah. Terra Surge. Yeah. We get the res on the Robo Two Rocks. Definitely a big swing in the favor of Topaz Titans here, although this robot not really moving in their favor, though. It's still just kind of like... Uh, standing there. Yeah, it's just standing there looking at them <laughs> menacingly. <laughs> there you go. There's He's a probably thinking about, thinking about pushing. Timmy finally turning around, looking in the other direction. It decides to push the other pillar of pushing. Good for him. As he says, Good for nothing him. is better than pushing. Nothing is better than pushing. <laughs> oh no, not no, so space is going to fall. Not what you want. Will they try for this res? Here's the dragon coming down. Oh, with that dragon? No, it will kill that mercy. Great 3k from Robo Robo 2 Rocks. rocks oh with three. Wow. Robo is just actually insane. Almost able to find the lead here. Uh, 30 meters. Pushing, uh, they just need 36 meters to take the lead here, which they have just done. What a great position here, I think, from Depresso up here, although he's going to die to the skill orb. The bane of everyone's existence, skill orb. Here comes that rip tire and a visor. Absolutely, though, the. the okay. Wow. So, Pfizer is really able to clean up everything they need to clean up here, and Slowbro as well on the Junkrat, actually just finding so much damage. I imagine if we were able to see the actual damage numbers coming from both teams, both the Junkrats would be having just like stacked numbers. Oh, my. oh, absolutely. Yeah, that is not too much of a stagger, but still, never yeah. feels good to be picked. Depresso up really far there, um, given the rest of his team's position. Is going to get punished for that. Here comes the tire. Coming from the top rope, actually. I wonder if they know where this is going to come from. Doesn't look like they oh, do. Oh, it's just going to be the revenge kill. Oh, no. <laughs> we go for the toxic tire revenge kill. <laughs> no. <laughs> oh, man. You hate to see it. You know what I wonder now? Currently. Is hmm. do you think uh, do you think Slowbro will bring the counter revenge tire onto Depresso? Avenge his ally. I would love to see it. <laughs> I'm not sure how um, how sound that reasoning would be, but I would love to see it. No, no, no. It's it's important, all right? When, when your brother's down, you got to pick him up. It's important. That's fair. That's a fair point. That's a fair point. Like, I want to keep an eye on there. on Slowbro here and see if he goes for that solo tire against the uh, enemy junk rat. Avengers brand, unfortunate. So uh, Slowbro does go down right there. Um, not able to participate in the rest of this fight. Lawful man gets cornered, goes down. It's now a 4v4, a 3v4 on point. 
Robo and they are going to get that res. Oh, that res actually is huge. A couple of great picks here for Topa as Titans. They're definitely going to be turning this one around. Depresto picks and up now two. it is just 4v1, and they will flip the bot. Honestly, I thought they were going to flip the bot uh, the previous fight, but the um, plant gang really put up a fight with their Mercy and Mara. Absolutely. If nothing else, Plant Gang has proved they are one of the most resilient teams. Oh, oh, and he gets oh my. three. Okay, so not really the revenge tire was looking for, but probably <laughs> a better tire. Wow, picks up the fourth one too. Are they going to let him have the 5k? Yes, they are. They will Slowbro indeed. picks up five kills on the kill feed. The kill feed is owned and operated by Slowbro. <laughs> oh my god. Okay, the ults right now. Um, I think Plant Gang is just a little bit ahead at the moment. So I do expect to see potentially another win here, although they do have to fight against the high ground geometric disadvantage. That is the high ground I was talking about. Slobo going down right there in the beginning. Here's some ults coming out really quick. Right on point. This visor, large potential. Did you see that little sneaky res? And we right come into a point. coalescence stage. They think this is super winnable. Oh my god. Mori just tanks the Orisa ult. Now we're seeing Presto Soldier go for the visor. For something with that visor. Just could not find it. What? Oh my. Wait. Subspace. <laughs> <laughs> oh no. Lopelman said, I'm taking you with me. A plant gang feeling like really, really campy, really like just resilient to all these different attacks coming at them. Yeah, they really haven't. The bot has not moved much in the last four fights. You know, you know, what's really important about about this as well is that if plant gang gets this map win, then we're moving on to the coveted map five. Ooh, Robo Rocks though. Robo two rocks with three picks there. Very clean. A nice clean up. By yeah. Man. Nice, good stuff. Timmy doing the walk of confidence back to the other side here. This is how I walk to the grocery store every day. You Just get up exactly in the morning like and, and you get trot over to the. Yeah. Oh yeah. I, I I walk over with all the confidence of Timmy. <laughs> get my bag of milk. A bag of milk? Wait, you Canadian? No. <laughs> <laughs> I just love bags of milk. That's so funny. Bags of milk. Okay. <laughs> okay. Parasaur's there almost finding like an insane amount of value, but just a little bit off the mark. Um, still able to pull out some resources as uh, Shiny is able to find the resurrection onto Slowbro. This visor could be exactly what they need, depending. If, maybe, maybe? Well, Marl's the very least, they did right get Marl's. Another Ooh, Terra Surge. I was going for will a, not find a pretty, anyone. Yeah, that's pretty greedy Terra Surge right there. I'm not really sure. Not really able, not really the kind of Terra Surge that uh, that Niles' team could really like follow up on. And so, pretty deep in there. Um, yeah. Really, yeah. yeah. Timmy just kind of like stranded in the middle here, wondering who to love more, the Topaz Titans or the Plant Gang. Does he, he want to decide. eat his vegetables or not? That is the question. <laughs> <laughs> does he want to dig or does he want to eat plants? Exactly. It looks like today, Timmy is probably going to be a vegetarian because he is walking in favor of the Plant Gang. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Although, Wait, big the tire. Kitsune. The tire, the tire finds the store. Look at the res. Res coming from the back line. Get it's res. Up. Picks up the soldier. Massive. Both of them. This coalescence is just going to mow everyone down. Subspace finding the kills they need. Fading out. Is it like 3v3 on point right now? It's like 4v3 on point at the moment. 4v3 currently. Oh, it's so scrappy. Okay. Oh so, the Valkyrie from Marlzy. 
really mitigated a lot of that damage there. I think if you're if, if you're uh, planking, you just back up for a second. You have advantage. You can like lose a fight and regroup. Because right now you're just kind of it's just, it's just sketchy, right? You don't want this yeah, to snowball. It's a little sketchy. You don't so want to lose. Ooh, see, that's not what you want. Any early picks. Apple man now finds the ult here. It isn't going to get any kills, but it does force the fortify out of Nihilus. Nihilus is low on resources right now. Can he stay alive? Well, they will find are... both their supports. Yeah. Wow. And I. Ooh, you know what? A though? Nice cleanup from Robo. Robo, Rocks. Robo had to use overclock to like really pull that off there. And look at the the meters here. So 55 to 86. I mean, they have to push it 30 meters. That means we are definitely seeing another fight, and it could be. As we've seen in the past, you know, Plant Gang able to contest this payload like no other team you've ever seen. We might see multiple more fights here. This is not over. Just because it says overtime doesn't mean this is less than three minutes from being done. That is true. I feel like the last two minutes of an MDA finals. <laughs> right? So many visors from both teams. Oh, here. Visor. Oh, Large from Depressor here. Now, okay, yeah, now if you're Plant King, you really just have to, like, hold on. Hold on for these. Here comes the Coalescence. This Coalescence could be big. Finding a lot of damage oh, there. Finds find Robo. Plus base. Models will fall to the, the Mercy. They, can they find the kill on Depressor? He's so low. Depressor does go down. These are the kills they need to see. Oh, my God, are we going to go to a map five? I think we are. Oh! It's a map five. Holy cow. Okay. 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 We got a game. We got a game. Oh, we got a game. We've had a game since the first map. Yeah, you're right. It, it has been entertaining and impressive all the way through. <laughs> he goes for the spray as he goes and continues and still gets five. <laughs> oh, my God. Wow. That's confidence. That is confident. That's what we want to see here. Wow. All right. What is the map going to be? I'll take a quick look over here at the map pool. We're going to go back to control. Um, we can't re-choose Li Zhang Tower, um, but we can pick Busan or Oasis. So those are the choices. I have a feeling we're going to see Busan. It's just a gut feeling. Gut feeling. What gives you the gut feeling? I don't see very much Oasis. I think, even though personally, oh, but I'm wrong. Lobo wow. Man does choose Oasis. Oasis is going to be the map. All right. Now, the only reason I might be rooting for the Topaz Titans here is because I actually recently VOD reviewed the Topaz Titans on Oasis. And so I'm hoping they can take what I've taught them all right, last weekend, take home the W. Like, maybe they don't. That's okay if they don't. They can just blame me and throw me in the dumpster. That's fine. Exactly. <laughs> That's exactly. totally fine. <laughs> There's nothing on the line from them now. They just say, oh, Oz gave us bad info. <laughs> Oz is just such a dumbass. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome to O. I, I agree with Waluji Forever in the Twitch chat here saying support carry. Both teams have excellent supports, and we've Absolutely. seen a lot of great support play from uh, both teams tonight. Absolutely. And while we haven't uh, necessarily focused on them a ton, uh, again, from both teams, I've been seeing a lot of good uh, resource usage. Like deciding when to use the reses, when to use their ultimates. They have been incredibly impactful. And as a support myself, you know, you got to show support's love, man. Oh, dang. You play support. I do. Wow. What do you play? Uh, mostly Baptiste. Oh. And then Ana and Kiriko. I thought you were a Junker Queen main. No, that's... Dude, that's, that's my alter ego. Oh, you're right. You're right. That's XZ. Yeah, right. yeah, yeah. <laughs> 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 Nine, four, oh man all right we got the top down view we're going to see who gets to the point first i think that both teams are going to want to be fighting for that high ground um we are still going to see the orisa coming from uh both sides and topaz titans immediately opting to not take the fight on main go straight to the high ground i love this choice from them 
Pays off immediately. Bro, finding an early pick on slow, bro. Wow. Depresso in just a dominating position up here. You have to do something about Depresso. Once you do something about Depresso, you still have to do something about Robo Two Rocks. Um, Brown will find that res on extended. Oh no! Oh, oh no! Will be pushed off out of the map. Oh no! <laughs> not how you want to go out, dude. Oh, it's heart really not. It's a little and bit now of a... There's a question of how long can Nihilus and Shiny Umbreon hold this point. Indeed, I mean, you, you might call that a, a little, I mean, a little bit of a stagger there. Maybe he could have just died a little bit quicker, but I mean, at the same time, but, neither team had the point. So, I mean, it's just the point is starting from zero from that point. Yeah, one of the things you just have to weigh, like, if you can hold long enough for your team to get back. Because you never know. Yeah, massive, true. yeah. It's maybe tough for Plant Game to just walk down this hallway, with, given the spam from Robo Two Rocks. You know that's just, it's just possible to get headshot at any point in time. They do make it kind of through with not too many losses, but now the losses are starting to come, the domino effect. Wow. I mean, they're just, they're going to have to wait on one more respawn here. Plant Gang really not incentivized to go in right now without their fifth. I'd be very, very careful not. It's, here. It's so hard. So hard trying to go into a five-man team with only four. You, if, if, if a 4v5, you have an 80% chance to lose the fight. So oh, subspace gets oh picked. God. They are still stuck in a 4v5 scenario, although they do get the res. The res. Finally. Five. Finally a 5v5. There's some initiative as Lopple Man goes into smokes and uses ult, kills Slowbro. And at this point, if you're Topaz Titans, you could almost keep walking forward. And I think a lot of teams would, but Topaz, very patient. Just hold the angle, play the spam. They know that their spam is really good right now. Um, just keep doing what's good. Yeah, if it ain't broke, don't fix it. Exactly. A motto I think they're living by at the moment. Because, I mean, look at this look at this high ground position you have up here. If you're Topaz Titans, I mean, there's a mountain of an issue that you have to get through. Oh, my. What an angle on that dragon. dragon. Oh, my. Robo's brain is so big. <laughs> wow. And Depressa will find Shiny Umbreon and Subspace. The bit DPS of, making oh, that's a bit of a slaughter. fairly quick work. What's up? Wow. I feel like Topaz has like picked up their game, like from the beginning of this this match to now. You wonder if they're they're not even sick anymore. Maybe they're maybe they're no longer the sick titans. <laughs> we just switch their name back. Switch their name back to the Topaz Titans. Or maybe I misinterpreted what they meant when they said that they're sick. Maybe they're maybe they're like sick. You know what I mean? <laughs> they're dope. <laughs> Pretty sure I did not make that misinterpretation. But even if they are putting out a really like star performance tonight, I'm really excited to see what like I, what I am seeing right now. They are one up. Plant Gang also putting up great numbers today. They have to, so far put up a tied performance against the Topaz Titans. Who are, oh my god. Oh, two. Can't two early picks here. What will we res? Until two <laughs> picks come out. This crazy DPS lineup for, for Topaz Titans. Wow. They'll find two more. It's, yeah, it's looking so rough for Plant Gang. Yeah, I mean, you have to find some way to shut this Hanzo down. Robo this 2 is... rocks, but it's so hard. It is. I mean, I what think, are you gonna do? Um, I think. I mean, if I was playing tank on planking, I would really consider the monkey. And I know, like you said, monkey is. Um, you guys feel like he's kind of fallen off the map uh, of like the meta game in the last couple months, but he does dive the Hanzo. That's true. He does go right past Lapple Man. Here we see the Symmetra though. We've seen Symmetra have some success so far for the plant gang. Um, we've even seen a Symmetra 5k earlier in this match, so maybe this is the answer that they need. That's true. Something that's worked before, something that they... Look at the comfort pick onto the D.Va as well. 
here we're gonna see the dragon get the eight by night ate the dragon okay okay plant gang coming alive here they have the momentum they just ate a dragon they're feeling good now they just need a fight win they just need a fight win that's how they take the next step here now this is going to jump onto the soldier we'll not kill him but we'll take him off the high robo, almost dead he almost back. killed robo Robo solo, he's just he's trying won. to get the Yusuzu to keep him up. Oh he my. Will stabilize. He will Robo is so bell. close to dying. It's not quite oh, Robo. Genius slow, teleporter. Robo. Sim is still alive here. They actually res Slowbro and extended on the Sim kills Robo from point blank on the Symmetra. Presso. How many will he find with his visor? <laughs> Depresso kind of peaked the bomb there, but didn't die. <laughs> Very cool. 87% for Topaz Titans. This could be it. A play needs to come into action right now if you're Plant King. If you want to stay in this, I'm not saying it's impossible. I've underestimated them before. Although True. this pathway to enlightenment could be exactly touch. what Topaz Titans needs to secure this up. They'll be able to touch. Will they be able to hold it? Oh, the spear comes oh. into Lava Man to counter the Coalescence. And I, I think that... I say that is oh, it. What a match between the Topaz Titans. Sorry, the Sick Titans and Plant Gang. <laughs> so close. We have found today that yes, a king can bleed, but I don't know if a king can fall. Topaz Titans, so far completely undefeated from at least my perspective i have never seen them lose an lfgs feature match or like honestly just an lfgs tournament match in my this is my second season with lgs they are just undefeated yeah they are wow absolutely uh one of the best if not the best in the league in the world although I'm pretty sure if they took on the Dallas Fuel right now, Dallas Fuel will be like, Robo's pretty good. Let's sign him. <laughs> Let's sign him. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Wow. Although not to downplay the Plant Gang. Plant oh, yeah. Gang put up such a fight, such an impressive fight. For sure. They got it to five maps. And, I mean, again, just ridiculous the amount of fight they put up during Li Jing with those recontests and eventually winning that map. Yeah, and like, let's also not forget that, like, not only has Topaz, like, never dropped a match, right, but, like, very few teams have even got him, like, gotten Topaz into, like, round five. This is one of the few times I want to say maybe only one other time have I ever seen Topaz in a map five at all. And so I, I want to say that Plant Gang is on the map. They're on the map to stay. People need to fear Plant Gang. They are a real team in here. All right. And that is that is what it is. Like, they are a good team. Oh, absolutely. Absolutely. All right. Well, that has been our, uh, our round one feature match between the Topaz Titans and Plant Gang. Thank you so much for joining me, Royal Ranger. Thank you so much um, for everyone in the chat for being here and for supporting LFGS. If you are not part of the Discord server, then you can find links to the Discord server and my special recipe for peanut butter and jelly in the Twitch description. And have a wonderful day.